We have new developments tonight in a Target 12 investigation. A day after calling the Attorney General to investigate his Chief of Staff, Governor Dan McKee reiterates he still has full confidence in his top aide. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been on the story for weeks and joins us now with the latest. Questions continue to swirl around McKee's top advisor, Tony Silva, who today stepped down from a part-time job in Cumberland. 24 hours after Governor Dan McKee said his chief of staff did nothing wrong in a controversial land deal. There's no information that would you know, say that there was undue influence. He tapped the Attorney General and Rhode Island State Police to examine Tony Silva's actions. I don't think it's an about base. You know, there were some people questioning whether or not, uh, you know, I could actually get good information and provide, uh, you know, the facts back back to the people in the state around. So bringing the attorney general in right now is a, is a, a, you know a, another um, opinion that's independent of our office. Target 12 confirmed Cumberland Mayor Jeff Mutter was interviewed by two state police investigators in the attorney general's office on Thursday. Mutter declined to provide specifics about their questions, but did say they asked about Silva's involvement in trying to develop this piece of wetlands at 45 Canning Street in Cumberland. Any thought at all to stepping aside pending the outcome of the investigation? Absolutely not. Why not? Tim, I've done nothing wrong. On Wednesday, Target 12 met up with Silva outside the State House after repeated requests for an interview went unanswered. Have you apologized to him for what's going on right now and what have you two talked about? I wouldn't say that I've apologized. I think the governor knows who I am. That's why I'm in this position. Silva also served as Cumberland's Deputy Emergency Management Director, making $7,500 a year, while at the same time acting as Chief of Staff, taking in nearly $200,000 annually. Today, Silva handed in his resignation for the part-time job in Cumberland. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.